in a second. He gathers the rope to find the exact centre, then makes a loop and holds it in his hand. This is where the scissors come in. Using the scissors, the magician simply cuts through the centre of the rope. Eventually. There's no camera trick involved. That's definitely a cut piece of rope. He twists the ends, gives them a wave, and magically, the rope is back in one piece. The tricky masked man has done it again. So how did the magician cut the rope in two, then miraculously restore it to one solid piece? Simple. He didn't cut the rope at all. So what's his secret? Concealed in the magician's hand at the start of the trick is a small piece of identical rope gathered into a loop. This is the rope that gets cut by the scissors. The magician is careful to never let his piece of rope be seen by the audience. When he places the long rope in his hand, he pulls the short loop up and above his fingertips. From this angle, you can see him pull his sleight of hand. The long rope is held by his thumb, while the short loop is visible above the top of his hand. He takes the scissors and cuts straight through the short loop. When he separates the pieces, it looks as if the long rope has been sliced in two. It's pretty sly stuff. Then he twists the short cut pieces out of the way and tucks them into his fist. He keeps them hidden as he slides the long rope through and no one bothers to look in his closed fist. And that's how he weaves his magic, convincing us into thinking he'd put the piece of rope back together again. <laughs>